if the black community is going to um, care about um, the community, then we need to address abortion. We need to address uh, the crime, black on black crime, they call it. We need to address uh, certain things, the music industry that's feeding death and destruction into our own community. So I don't know why the Black Lives Matter is not addressing that, but I, I think the Black Lives Matter is actually an LGBT movement making use of uh, the black race and a lot of uh, people of a darker colored skin are not for the Black Lives Matter movement. Bring justice for black babies and all babies in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We're thankful for Asian babies. We're thankful for all babies. Father God, we all were children at one point, babies at one point, in the mother's womb. Okay, I'm with Pastor David Lynn. Uh, he is organizing a rally here at Young Dundas and it's entitled Anti-Abortion Protests Supporting Black, Indigenous, and All Babies. Pastor Lynn, tell me, why spe uh, specify uh, black and indigenous with a special mention? Well, it's interesting because the Black Lives Matter uh, movement, when I looked on their website, it seems to be um, uh, focusing on one particular community, the LGBT community, uh, Islam, but it doesn't make any mention of babies. It doesn't make mention of the fact that there's a huge genocide of black babies. In fact, one of the largest uh, numbers of abortions on black, uh, are on black babies and black children. And, and so there's something going wrong in all communities today, but within the black community. And, and I believe all lives are important. Black lives are important. Everybody's important. Um, but this is not being addressed. Um, and another thing is not being addressed is um, uh, Christianity amongst the black community. 80% of all black people in the United States uh, tend to, to, to subscribe to uh, a Christian tradition. This is not spoken of in the Black Lives Matter and uh, movement. And um, when you see what's going on on the media with the, with the Black Lives Movement, it, it doesn't really represent um, the, the majority of the black people. I, I think it's been hijacked and I think that um, what we really need to focus on is, uh, as, a, as a person of color, I think that um, every community, we should love everyone else, yes, but I, I think we need to address certain things like abortion. We need to address certain things like the music within the black community that's destroying the black community. This is not being spoken of at all. So this is one of the few protests I hope, hope to have addressing this. Um, I think it's important that if we do care about life, Jesus said, I've come that you might have life and have it in abundance. I think that we need to start at the womb and we need to say, you know what, um, if you are in the black community or any community, we need to care for the life of the unborn. It's, it's a separate uh, being from the mother and, um, and every child is made in the image of God. If you're actually a, a factual, logical thinker, you have to be honest with the stats. I mean, I'm totally against police brutality of anybody, and I do know that there is racism, and I do know it happens, but, but um, if you're going to address that, you need to address the other things going on, even within uh, our own community. And, and so I, I, I think that um, sometimes when we see people focusing on something uh, else that's also in my opinion a, a form of racism as well uh, and, and I don't think that's fair I mean not every white person is racist and uh, but there are white races and there's a black racist and and I understand that there's a history of segregation and and which was awful and and that shouldn't be but um, if we're really going to get to the root of it um, we we need to look internally address ourselves like what what are we doing to contribute to our own societal and family problems and instead of pointing the finger at somebody else and expecting somebody else to care we need to care for ourselves um, and um, I'm, I'm one black spokesman that thinks that if the black community is going to um, care about um, the community then we need to address abortion we need to address uh, the crime, black on black crime, they call it. We need to address uh, certain things, the music industry that's feeding death and destruction into our own community. So 
I don't know why the Black Lives Matter is not addressing that, but I, I think the Black Lives Matter is actually an LGBT movement making use of uh, the black race and a lot of uh, people of a darker colored skin are not for the Black Lives Matter movement, in fact. Not, not because uh, we don't all want um, to be treated fairly, we all do, but it's just some of the principles destructuring the traditional family unit in the Black, black Lives Matter I don't agree with that. And if 80% of uh, the black community is having has Christian values, we don't support the destruction of the traditional family. We don't support that. That that's the problem, one of the big problems within the black community. And that, so I I I, I think we need more father figures in the black community. I think we need more, um, uh, more people to address things like abortion. You know, the interesting thing is, it's like, I was arrested as a preacher, a black preacher. The LGBT community called the police on me. And I find it very ironic that the same LGBT community and the Black Lives Matter is actually asking for the defunding of the police when they're the ones, even in their protests, even the abolishment of the police. The abolishment of the, they're the ones using the police to defend their rallies. And why don't they stand up for black preachers? And so um, it, it seems to me that there's some agenda, the liberal media is very biased they don't cover a lot of the things going on and i think thank you for i uh, think rebel news but um it's sad that if you want to stand up for something it, it, it you know you won't be supported unless there's an lgbt word to it or a black word in it and i don't think that's fair or or i mean i i, I don't know how so many communities have attached themselves to black lives but the moment you, you attach, say, abort, uh, babies or Christians, oh, don't do that. There's something deeper than skin color. There, there's actually babies dying. There's actually injustice, and it goes beyond a color. It, it's for everybody. And so I guess we're just in a political environment right now that there's a focus. And, um, but we wanna, I, I want to expose that hypocrisy, and I want people to know that, it's, that um, as, as a nation, we're suffering, and we... We need to come together and we need to get back to basic principles and ethics um, that, that made our country great. And we need to stand up for Canada. Yes, folks, here at Rebel News, we endeavor to bring you the other side of the story. But there are people that don't want the other side of the story to be told. Therefore, please go to journalistdefensefund.com. That's journalistdefensefund.com. And if you can, kindly make a donation.